Hello, everyone. I'm Huai Yue from Shanghai Jiguang College. Very nice to meet you today. Um, it definitely is my great honor to, to be the guest speaker of Spring Lecture Series at School of Architecture. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, firstly, please let me have a short self-introduction. I started my study in architecture in 1994 and got my PhD degree from Tongji University in 2008. Now I'm an architect as well as a teacher of architectural design vocational education. Tongji University has a very deep relationship with UIUC since 1980s, benefiting from the good cooperation between UIUC and Tongji. I had the opportunity to visit to visit UIUC School of Architecture at 2012 as a visiting scholar for a academic year. I took these very beautiful pictures at, the at that time on campus of UIUC. This is the architecture building, new building, uh, the sunken garden, the sunshine entry, auditory, assembly hall, the main library. So, Catherine, this is your background, right? My apartment is located in Ashton Woods. Ashton Woods after Blizzard. <clears throat> this is campus bus stop in early spring, very beautiful, very blue sky. <laughs> My iCar, I keep it until now. My host professor, uh, dear Professor James, James Warfield and dear Professor Lynn Diabo. I also met Dean David Chesco, Professor Catherine Anthony, Professor Alison Warren, Professor Lawrence Hemming, and Professor Fang Xu. Everyone there is very nice and I learned more about architecture from them at that time. I audited in classes, joint architecture field trips, design reviews, and PhD degree debate. Uh, there's a unique teaching philosophy and an active academic atmosphere at School of Architecture. It was really impressive memory for me. Um, this is uh, in Professor Catherine's class, social and behavioral factors in architecture design. With dear Professor Catherine. I still remember dear Professor Warfield drove over then by himself, uh, taking students doing architecture field trips. He took us to Columbus Town, Amish community, Pumpkin Town. These are uh, visit. We have a visit to Professor Warfield's home. This is my daughter. And for uh, Dr. Fang Shi, a very beautiful and uh, delicious beverage. He gave, gave me uh, two books. Yeah. Even though Professor Walker is no longer with us, we will miss him. Um, actually, after I returned to China in 2013, I wrote an article about my story in UIUC School of Architecture, the title of the which, of which is Enlightenment of Philosophy and Characteristics of Agriculture, uh, uh, Architectural Education at UIUC. As far as I know, it is the first article in China that introduced the architecture education of UIUC comprehensively, just like an advertisement for UIUC School of Architecture, I think. Hmm. 
this is the abstract of the paper. University of Illinois at Urban and Champaign is one of the world famous universities of engineering with author's experience of one year academic visit in UIUC. This article mainly introduces the teaching philosophy and characteristics of architectural education at UIUC in order to provide the beneficial experiences and enlightenment for higher architectural education in current China. It focuses on the unique teaching philosophy, distinctive training plan, international academic perspective, new teaching ways, and multi-dimensional teaching and evolution, et cetera. Um, this architecture is a comprehensive discipline involving engineering, aesthetics, society, economy, environment, behavior, and other fields. As a student who has studied architecture for 27 years, also a teacher of architecture, a registered architect, I'd like to show my understandings and experiences about architecture, including my research, my practice, and my teaching job. Um, actually, I think my doctoral research is an important background of my uh, practice. Um, so I'd like to give a brief introduction to my research. This photo was taken in 2016 during Professor Kasmer's visit to Shanghai Tongji University with my supervisor, Professor Tong Hexing, uh, who was the chief architect of East China Architectural Design Research Institute. Professor Xing is a famous architect in China who designed a lot of well-known public buildings such as Shanghai Milin and Deng Xiaoping Memories. Uh, etc. Um, this is Shanghai Museum, <coughs> Deng Xiaoping's memorial with a, a traditional Chinese uh, building style. My doctoral research is very closely related to practice at that time. The total of my dissertation is change and reconstruction of contemporary urban administration center in China. The re relocation and reconstruction of an administration center was a popular urban spatial phenomenon at that time. Thus, uh, the research motivations lie in exploring the relationship between spatial phenomena and social process and find out how to solve social Social problems in a special way. I'd like to have a general introduction about my research. The research background mainly lies in three aspects, including power of civil society in China becomes stronger and stronger, high speed urbanization process in China, and urban functional development, including development of urban news district, renewal of old city, adjustment of urban spatial structure, regional land use of downtown area, and historical and cultural protection. Suzhou, a very famous Chinese garden city, is a typical example. Um, the administration center has been removed from the old city to new district in order to develop new district and protect historical sites in the old city. But the situation is different in Guangzhou. Uh, they just rebuilt and expanded all the buildings in its original location to improve the quality of the built environment of downtown area. This is the administration center in Guangzhou. Qingdao is a coastal city with the urban development. City needs a new development direction. Administration center has been moved eastward to promote 
orderly urban development. This is the relationship between urban administration center and the commercial uh, center. And the urban administration center, the master plan type of urban administration centers. And the main building plan layout type. This is the uh, main building and the relationship between buildings and plaza. Also discuss some specific design strategies. The most important results of my paper includes uh, five aspects. Summarizing the evolution of urban administration centers in China, analyzing the phenomena of reconstruction of urban administration centers in China in an integrated way, having a quantitative analysis, analysis for the constructed scale and the criteria of urban administration centers in China, developing and renewing the design concept of urban administration centers with the knowledge of concerning subjects, putting forward to the ideal model of urban administration centers in China, urban civic center. Moreover, discussing the design strategies and construct strategies. Uh, recently, uh, my research interests are social and cultural factors in architectural design and public space in urban waterfront, green building and healthy building design, and teaching of architectural design. It can be seen as a continuation of my doctoral research. Okay. Actually, uh, I think my research has an impact on my design practice. For, the, for this lecture, I have reviewed the projects I designed and find that many cases are trying to explore the issue of publicity. You know, China is experiencing a high speed urbanization. At the same time, with the social and economic transformation, urban space is becoming more urban, more quality oriented and more uh, people oriented there are some there there are also more concerns about regionality and characteristics compared with other countries architects in china have more practice opportunities in the past decades i got national uh, registered architect certificate in 2008 and now i'm a a council member of Shanghai Architecture Society, with, which has over, has over 20 professional committees, 200 group members, and 3,000 individual members in total. Uh, this is the some of the, the, the projects I uh, designed in the past in, in the past decade. <laughs> This is recent, recently a uh, project, a uh, highway uh, service area in Jiangsu province. Um, actually, most of my practice can be seen as explorations on the spatial ex expression of public and civic nature. Today, I'd like to share some of my works with you. The first is Shanghai Nanjing East Road Central Plaza. Uh, actually, this is an architectural and landscape design project. Uh, Nanjing East Road is known as a symbol of Chinese popular goods. It is
it is one of the important commercial center and the tourist destination in Shanghai. Central Plaza is located in the middle of Nanjing East Road, commercial pedestrian street, covering an area of 8,300 square meters. It is the main node of traffic flow and the landscape of commercial pedestrian street. The aim of the project design is to construct an open, attractive, and approachable, uh, uh, approach, approachable <laughs> civic cultural place for everyone and make the central plaza become, become, become a high quality place with holding positive civic public cultural activities. Based on the traditional commercial space, we try to integrate it into the civic cultural cultural space to provide citizens and the tourists with place to rest performance exhibition and various activities in order to discuss the civic nature of urban public space. Uh, the shape of the base is irregular. In order to define the performance space, a name square is introduced. The in-limp shape can adapt to the base in different directions. The two symmetric axes of the ellipse become the basis of the space design. Ellipse and its axis divide its career into three parts, performing, performing a square, perform, performer's career, layer's career, and the landscape green area. The central plaza becomes the most important public space in Nanjing East Road, also a tourist site. This is the photo. Okay, the second case is Student Center of Jiguang College. <laughs> Actually, now my office is located in this building. Um, Jiguang College Student Center is located in Baoshan District, which scale is about 7,000 square meters, including multiple functions. It's the main place for cultural and re creational activities on campus. Based on analysis of built environment of campus, we identified three core design concepts, integration, communication, and identity. In other words, how to build a good relationship between new building and its surroundings, how to meet behavior and psychological needs of space users, young guys, Furthermore, how to form a sense of identity, how to achieve space users' psychological, emotional, cultural, and other high-level goals in a spatial way. Uh, there are several specific design strategies. Building the relationship between the new, the new, uh, new and the old, old building. Uh, the new and the old buildings are connected by the the steel structures and the corridors, and setting up in internal public space and the shared space such as Sunshine Atri, a coffee shop exhibition hall to achieve the purpose of promoting social community and communication. Uh, this is the renderings. Uh, actually, okay, for some reasons, there are different difference. There are difference between the real scene and the architectural project design due to additional function requirements. A circular, a circular lecture hall for 150 people was built. Um, 
The Sunshine Atrium is very popular by students. There are lots of positive activities held in the atrium, performance and the exhibition, and so on. There's a circular lecture hall, which is a user-friendly space. Compared to this rectangular space, circular space has more sideline contact possibilities between people to promote high quality social communication. These photos record a wonderful often lecture given by Professor Catherine in October 2016. Okay, the next case is uh, actually, it is the architectural design competition, Heart for Takeaway Men. Uh, recently, we won the third award and the excellent instructor award of the second Shanghai University Student Architectural Design Competition. I think the topic is uh, very interesting. <laughs> Change is the theme of the competition. And our topic is hard for takeaway men. What is the background of the topic? Takeaway industry is a new profession in China, which has changed people's daily life and brought us lots of convenience, especially during the COVID-19 in 2020. Takeaway men plays a very important role in keeping the operation of urban functions. More and more people are engaged in this profession in current China. The professional characteristics, the working environment, special working environment, and the needs of individuals should be paid more attention to. We hope to inspire students to pay more attention to social problems in architectural design and express their kindness and human care to others in a special way. Because this topic is related to everyone's daily life, our students have great interest and uh, issue They worked hard to do interviews, field trips, data analysis, and so on, in order to provide, provide a, a rest station for takeaway men in urban public space. The possible sites is located in Corner Park or space under the wild duct something like that. The most important concept is to build a link between people and people, people and city, people and society. Uh, the key words include movable, flexible, adaptable, user-friendly, simple, modular, green building technology, prefabricated, mobile paper. Our student work is well approved. It also can be seen in architectural design discussing based on social hot issue. Uh, the last case I want to share with you today is an arts high school in Wuyishan, Fujian province. Um, It is also a project in process. Wuyishan is located in Fujian province. It is a historical city which has world cultural and natural heritage. Famous for its tea called Tie Guan Yin, a very uh, famous Chinese tea. The land area is 70, 76 thousand square meters. It is a concept design and a planning. Because Wuyishan is healing area, the special point of this project is that the base with a big eleva elevation difference, reaching nearly 20 meters. The main functions include main teaching building, a student dormitory, gymnasium, teacher's apartment, artist studio, an international tea culture and art center, theater, etc. We reserved some hillsides, formed some spaces surrounded by uh, 
called yards, and they use the elevation difference to arrange parking space, gymnasium, and sunken uh, garden in a vertical dimension. This is the master plan. which is a free layout of Chinese courtyard style. There are four functional complexes on campus, um, teaching and administration complex, life service complex, international culture and arts exchange complex, and sports complex. In the center of the teaching building is reserved T here side. This is the site ver vertical design. We try to protect the original land landform. Under the playground, there's a, a gymnasium. Here are some renderings. Mm. This is a bird eye view of this project. And this is International Culture, Tea Culture and Arts Exchange Center with a theater. And this is the artist's studio. The main teaching building looks like letter A means arts, it is formed by logic, not by design. Okay, thank you. Uh, now I'm a, uh, let, let, let me have a general uh, introduction about my teaching job. Actually now I'm a professor of school of architecture at Jiguang College also responsible for the School of Architecture. Qiguang College was established in 1993. There are 6,000 students in my college and uh, uh, 300 faculties and staffs. Most of them come from, come from Tongji University. Thus, we have very deep relationship with Tongji University. Now we have two campuses. This is, this is the scenes of my, of my campus, the cherry blossoms, it's very beautiful. The School of Architecture is located in Baoshan district. The main campus, there are four majors, including uh, architecture design, interior design, landscape design, and digital discipline technology. At present, we have a three-year program, and soon there will be a four-year program. We put our focus on architecture design vocational education. There are 1,200 students and 40 faculties and staffs in the School of Architecture. 50 of our teachers come from architecture design companies. Because Shanghai has gathered one fifth of the national architecture design enterprises, have obviously advantage. There are abundant vocational education resources. The characteristic of our college is just a little similar to Boston Architectural College, BAC, all for the purpose of uh, vocational education. Um, actually, we try to build an open vocational education pattern, which led by experts and masters, guided by industry associations and integrated with leading design companies. We put our focuses on the cultivation of professional abilities 
especially the abilities of green building, technology, and digital design. This is the Jiguang Green Building Center with US GBC BCI Platinum Certificate uh, 2017. It is the first Platinum Certificate project for educational purpose in China, I think. Uh, the photo is uh, record the director of the US GBC came to our school for the ceremony. This is design studio class in our college. We also have an enterprise workstation where we can carry out design practice and school enterprise similar. Now I'm responsible for two design studios, uh, introduction to architectural design for freshmen and high rise office building design for junior students. This is our student work, uh, residential space design, site analysis and general layout and the coffee bar design, a very little, little scale a public building. This is the high rise office building design, uh, student work. We have international communications with foreign universities and colleges, such as University of Indianapolis, Prague Architectural College, Boston Architectural College, Lincoln University, New Zealand, and so on. We also have summer works, workshop degree corporation program with Prague Architecture College. Um, okay, 2020 is a special year for all of us. In fact, we experienced a semester of online teaching in Shanghai. Since September last year, our students come all over the country have returned to the school with strict epidemic prevention requirements, including coming and out of campus with health code, travel code, travel code based on big data, taking temperature, wearing a mask. Um, to some extent, everyone's life, work style and uh, habits are changing. Hope the difficult situation will pass as soon as possible. After COVID-19, you all are welcome to Shanghai and very welcome to Jiguang College School of Architecture. Um, finally, I'd like to show you a figure, which is the statistics of female architects of East China Architectural Design and Research Institute, which is the second largest uh, design company in China. In this big size company with over 6,000 employees, the percentage of female leaders is about 12%. It is difficult for female architects to be leaders of enterprises. The percentage of female architects working for uh, one to three years is 25%. For three to five years is 40%. For five to 10 years is 20%. For more than 10 years is 15%. It shows that with the increase of working years, the pro proportion of the female architects has decreased. Actually in our school, uh, school of architecture, the number of boys is twice that of girls. In my opinion, architect is just a profession. There's no gender difference, however. Um, 
compared with the male, male architects, the female architect has physical and psychological characteristics. Maybe female architects have advantages in some aspects, such as fashion intuition, sensitivity to color, attention to details, patient, patience with customers, social affinity, low key, and so on. Um, at the same time, there are also disadvantages. So generally speaking, women are more involved in their families, especially for the female architects who became mothers, since they should spend more time taking care of their babies. How to keep a balance between life and work is really a big problem for them. Take myself as a sample, as an example. I'm a very uh, ordinary guy. I just try to work hard and try my best to keep a balance between uh, between research, teaching, administration, administration, uh, practice, and life. There are three people in my small family: my husband, my 15-year-old daughter, and uh, my husband is a bridge engineer. We are a team of architect and engineer. In Shanghai, a big city with more than 20 million people, I need to drive more than two hours per day to my school company or pick up my daughter. However, uh, oversized uh, metropolis also has its prosperous scenes, convenient living facilities, working opportunities, and other abundant resources. It is a dilemma. Okay. Uh, there's the three things uh, I want to see. Love is the inner force of my profession. Maybe an architect will have a better uh, understanding of the profession when he or she is 50 years old. He or she will enter the profession golden age. For example, my supervisor, Professor Xin, who is 82 years old, is still engaged in design practice and has high quality works now. In, in their career, architects will contact different regions, cultures, customers, and different types of projects. Only by better understanding of life and better understanding of the world can we really understand what is architecture is. Um, it's important to have ability to keep balance. Please keep a balance between work, family, and health, pursue a sustainable and high quality life. Um, and try, try to enjoy the process itself. Except teaching and practice, I also take an administrative work Maybe you will think it, it is a little bit boring for a designer. I agree with you totally. At the same time, I also find that doing research or design practice with a little management thinking can help me to have a comprehensive view and improve my problem solving ability, social communication skills, and adapt adaptability. In fact, ability of manage uh, teams and projects is very important for an architect. Uh, okay, I'm Huayue, uh, an ordinary architect in Shanghai. Today, I'm really glad to meet so many friends from architectural fields, architecture design area at, uh, at UIUC. Uh, I hope to have more opportunities to communicate with you in future. Um, you can contact me. You can contact me by email or which account. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time.